Hey guys, what's up? Coach Brian Klepacki here at CriticalBench.com, helping you guys understand a little bit more about how to overcome depression and anxiety. So what exactly is depression? Depression or major depressive disorder or clinical depression as doctors uh, diagnose it, is a common but serious mood disorder. It causes severe symptoms that affect how you think, how you feel, and also how you handle daily activities such as sleeping, eating, working, and also relational skills with those around you. So to be diagnosed with depression, the symptoms must be present for at least two weeks. I'm not a doctor, but however, a lot of doctors will have to look at uh, certain symptoms that we'll go over in just a moment to make sure that you fall into the category of suffering from depression. So many people with depression also experience some sort of anxiety. And anxiety goes well beyond the typical tension we experience when we face life's challenges. You know, difficult day at the work, someone cuts you off, um, nervous about the next paycheck, whatever it is, those are just daily experiences that uh, bring on um, anxiety. But for people with anxiety disorder, that's an overwhelming fear of uh, worry, and but that's also constant. So that what's constant is obsessive thoughts, feelings of panic, trouble sleeping, heart palpitations, cold and sweaty hands. So if you experience those consistently, there's a good chance you suffer from anxiety disorder. So now depression and anxiety disorders, they are different. However, people with depression often experience symptoms sim similar to those with anxiety disorder, such as nervousness, irritability, problems sleeping, and also problems concentrating. However, each disorder has its own causes and its own emotional and behavioral symptoms. So let's talk about the symptoms for depression. So if you've been experiencing some of the symptoms I'm about to show you, um, most of the day, nearly every day for at least two weeks, you may be suffering from depression. Persistent sadness, anxious, or just an empty feeling of existence. Feelings of hopelessness or pessimism. Irritability. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, and also helplessness. Loss of interest of pleasures and, and hobbies or activities. Decreased energy or fatigue. Moving or talking more slowly. Feeling restless or having trouble sitting still. Difficulty concentrating, remembering, or making decisions on your own. Difficulty sleeping, early morning awakening, or even oversleeping. Fluctuations in your appetite and also fluctuations in your weight. Thoughts of death or suicide or suicide attempts. Aches or pains, headaches, cramps, digestion issues. These are all things that are clear signs of depression, obviously if you've had them for more than two weeks or so. But guys, if you suffer from any of these, Get yourself to the doctor and talk to your doctor more closely about depression. Don't just push these off to your side. Now, if you know somebody that has some of these symptoms, that's that's something that you got to push carefully that they go see some help um, just because it, it could be a sensitive subject. But definitely the thing is you have to get help if you do suffer from depression. Go see your doctor. Go talk to somebody who can help you get out of that, that funk. So not everyone who is depressed experiences all those symptoms that I just, just rattled off to you. Some people only experience a few symptoms, while others may, may experience that whole list. So several persistent symptoms in addition to low mood are required for a diagnosis of major depression. But people with only a few, but alarming and distressing symptoms can and may benefit from treatment for non-major depression. So the severity and frequency of the symptoms and how long they last will vary depending on the individual or the circumstance that you might be in. Also, symptoms may uh, vary from time to time to, just depending on uh, illnesses, age, and things like that. So how do you overcome depression and anxiety? Depression, even in the most severe cases, can be treated. Earlier treatment of depression, the more effective it is. So depression is usually treated through medication, psychotherapy, and sometimes some natural homeopathic methods. So here are a few tips that you may use on yourself or um, on someone that you might know who's suffering from depression. Try to be active and exercise. Set realistic goals. Spend time with other people and confide in a trusted friend or relative who can help you through that, this difficult time. Try not to isolate yourself and let others help you at any time they can. Expect your move to improve gradually, not immediately. Now, if you have a di difficult decision you have to make, make sure you discuss it with somebody you trust before you make that decision. Also, you wanna keep continuing to educate yourself on depression and things to do to overcome that. But most importantly, talk to your doctor and get some help through a trained professional. So there you have it, guys. If you want a little bit more information on how to become tough as nails or overcome depression, you gotta 
click this link right here. It's by Mike Gillette. It's a free report. It's the five ways to become tough as nails. Click the link, give us your email, we'll send you a copy of it right away. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click the link. But what you can do is click the little arrow under this video here. That's gonna open up our video description area. That top link you see, criticalbench.com slash tough, is the link you gotta click to get this awesome report, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos. Like us, share us. Also leave some feedback or, or comments below. Love to hear what you have to say about this topic or anything in general. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.